Have you ever wondered how someone gets a portrait to look exactly like the person? I mean, spot on. The answer might surprise you. Coming up. If you've ever wondered how to get a drawing, say like you make something cute in your sketchbook or a doodle at work or something, and you're like, man, this is pretty cool. I can turn that into a piece of art. But then you're like, all right, how do I get it off of that napkin from dinner onto a canvas or from my sketchbook onto a wood panel I can paint or something like that? In today's video, I'll explain three different ways that you can transfer an image from one surface to the other and even make it larger. The first method for transferring an image, you don't need any high-tech equipment. You can either buy tracing paper, I'll link it up in the description, or you can just put parchment paper over an image and then trace it. So here's the do-it-yourself way to get an image from one surface to the next. We have a sketch that we wanna transfer onto another surface. The other surface we wanna transfer onto, so like here I have a canvas, and parchment paper, which you may already have in your kitchen, pencil, tape, and then this little guy back here is called graphite paper. Here's what you do. Put a piece of parchment paper over your drawing. You can use tracing paper if you have it, but I'm trying to make this as DIY as possible. Then you will trace your image. Carefully go around the outline of your image. I have a canvas that I've already put a background on. And then you need to take your graphite paper. Notice it has two sides. One is like really dark and shiny, and the other one is dull. So you wanna put the darker side down, because that's where the graphite is. Dark side down. And anytime we put pressure on this, it's gonna make an image on the other side. So watch if I just go like this with my fingernail, what happens? It just transfers that graphite from the shiny side to the surface it's touching. So now we wanna put our drawn image, position it where we want it on the canvas. Secure your tracing paper with a couple pieces of tape and then use firm pressure to go over your drawing and voila. Once you have your image on your canvas, sky's the limit. So for our next method, let's say you find some inspiration on the internet and there's an image that you want to get from your screen onto a canvas or another surface to create a work of art. So what do you do? It's on the screen. Can you trace your screen? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Use the fact that your computer screen lights up, turns into to a light table. So if you put a piece of paper on there, the paper is pretty much see-through and then you can trace a shape or an image. In this next method, I found a photo of artist Frida Kahlo. Is it Kahlo or Kalo? I'm not sure, <laughs> but let's go with Kahlo. So I found a really pretty photo of her and using that as a photo reference, I just taped a sheet of computer paper onto the screen of my computer. And then since the screen lights up, I was able to trace this image of her. Now it looks kind of creepy, right? Cause there's no pupils, but <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> and that's where our handy dandy graphite paper comes in once again. Shiny side down, take your graphite paper, take your image, and then put that on your surface. So here I am simply tracing over my image of her with my graphite paper dark side down, my drawing on top, 
and the surface I want to transfer to underneath. Another way to get your image onto canvas is to use a projector. This is by far the simplest and most foolproof way because you can make it any size that you want. And instead of drawing it one time onto a paper and then another time onto the canvas, it's super simple. All you do is project and then draw. You're drawing it once. This nifty little device actually pays for itself because of how much time it saves you. Time is money, people. Money is money. And here's that final result with a small-ish drawing from the computer screen onto a canvas almost two feet tall. And you can do it onto whatever size that you want. If you're going low tech, the link to the tracing paper is in the description. And if you're going high tech, you will definitely want to check out this HP laptop. It doubles as a light table because of this awesome 360 degree rotation feature. And my favorite art boards are the Arteza canvas boards. They come in uh, multi-packs on Amazon. They're super convenient. My absolute favorite art tool would have to be my projector. It's such a time saver and it connects to your computer with one simple HDMI cord. Setup takes less than five minutes. To watch me turn this from an outline into a full color portrait, tune in for my next video. Do you wanna be consistent in your art practice or in any skill? Check out this video on consistency and another recommended video right here on my channel.